Good morning, church. It is great to spend this time with you again today to praise God with music and with song and with, uh, with our very lives. I'd like to read for you a psalm, Psalm number 113, starting with verse 1. It says, Praise the Lord. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time on and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, to the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. And I chose this song because, uh, or this psalm, because I wanted to talk to you about sunrise and how things are new and fresh every morning. And one of the, one of my favorite times of day, although I don't go outside early in the morning that much, but when I do, I, I always get this sense of peace and newness, this freshness of, of dew on the grass and the sun rising and the hope of a, of a day to come. And I hope that you sense that uh, in your life, too, that when you wake up in the morning and you get an opportunity to go outside and experience God's beauty, that you think about that and think what that uh, means for your life, that you have another chance to do what God is calling you to do, another chance to be the person that reflects Jesus Christ in all that we say and we do. The hymn I'd like to share with you this morning is one that speaks of this. It's called When Morning Gilds the Skies. And this hymn was first uh, first appeared in 1828 in a German Roman Catholic hymnal. And it was translated into English by Edward Caswell, an English Catholic priest in 1854. And then originally this song had 28 verses. Um, I'm only going to sing four of you today for you today, but uh, I think that's I'm not read all 28 verses, but I think I will do that sometime. But it speaks of joy in the morning, how we wake up and the, the God is gilded the sky with sunlight and it helps remind us of the promise of a new day. The tune that goes with this song is called Laudus Domini and was written by Sir Joseph Barnby, a, a renowned English composer and organist and choir master. And he wrote the tune and it was, it was in, not until 1868 that that tune and these words were put together. And was it's reported to be first being sung at St. Paul's Cathedral in London in 1868. So I was thumbing through my hymnal yesterday, and this uh, song just came out to me that we need to talk about how there's a new day. And the new day sometimes is a 24-hour day, but sometimes it's a matter of just looking at life in a fresh way. That each day we have an opportunity to do something right, to do something that honors God, that helps others. It helps others see God's love and grace more clearly. So I'd like to sing that song for you, and, and feel free to join in when morning gilds the skies. When morning gilds the skies, my heart awakening cries, may Jesus Christ be praised, alike at work and prayer. To Jesus I repair, may Jesus Christ be praised. The night becomes as day, when from the heart we say, May Jesus Christ be praised, the powers of darkness fear. When this sweet chant they hear, may Jesus Christ be praised. Let all the earth around ring joyous with a sound. May Jesus Christ be praised in heaven's eternal bliss. The loveliest strain is this, may Jesus Christ be praised. Be this while life is mine, the canticle divine, may Jesus Christ be praised. Be this the eternal song, through all the ages long, may Jesus Christ be praised. 
I love that last line, be this while life is mine, my canticle divine, may Jesus Christ be praised. Be this the eternal song through all the ages long, may Jesus Christ be praised. And that's my hope and prayer for you today as you rise and greet the morning, as you praise God for the opportunity of another day, an opportunity to right the things that might have been wrong from the previous day, but also to look forward to a fresh start and a new chance to be the person that God calls us to be. Go in peace and have a glorious day. Amen.